what is going on guys so in today's video i found what i believe is the best way to level up the what's the shotgun called the new hake craftable weapon shotgun the rag and help i don't know how i forgot that but i did i am going for the pvp um, god roll the crafted version with enhanced perpetual motion and enhanced elemental capacitor and to get those you have to be at level 15 which i'm at as you can see I believe in the hour and a half process to get to this point, I found the most efficient way to level up this gun. And what I believe would be the most efficient way to level up any special or heavy crafted weapon. I believe it would work very well for primaries too, but primaries are a little bit easier because there's not a limited amount of ammo. So if you're specifically here for Ragenhild, I ran subsistence, so I don't really ever need to reload. Thresh to keep getting my super back. And these didn't really matter, I just kind of chose them. Minor spec, I'll explain that in a second. With deadfall, single shadow shot, max intellect, and Orpheus rig. Along with ammo finder, loader, reserve, and scavenger. Now, the reason why you want to keep getting your super back is because... Deadfall, if you pop it in the center of the Thrall at the beginning of Shirochi, they all come together and you can kill one Thrall and have it actually kill like 20 and they all count for your shotgun. I found the perfect way to space this out to where you can do that twice and get all four little waves of Thrall and two supers. For the first two waves, you do your first super, your initial super, the second two waves, you do your second super. This is honestly what I believe is the fastest way to level up this weapon. If you want to use it in PvP or anything like that, as I do. Which, I'm a very frequent PvP player. These don't have many kills on them, because I just started using them. Got this today. But yes, I play PvP a lot. So, if you want to level up this shotgun for the same reason I do, or another one, or any special, as I said for that matter... I believe this is the way to do it. So yeah, let's get into it. So, in my first little intro, I said that I would mention why I put minor spec on, which I failed to do. The reason I put on minor spec was in case any pellets mi missed the actual thrall I was trying to hit. If they missed and somehow went on to another thrall, it would do more damage to that thrall because one pellet won't kill a thrall but it'll do more damage which could overall help the tether but um i'm not gonna lie to you i have been sitting here using the uh a primary weapon and i've been doing this try and get these done because i did not have enough materials to do all the crafting and oh boy does it still work with primaries Ooh. Almost ran into this. Let me show you. It works wonderful. Uh, I don't even pop it. But. It still works beautifully. Primary is a game you can level up fairly easily by just using it in the game. But this is a game that works so well. So yeah, I truly believe that this is the best way to level up your deep sight weapons. Yes, with deep sight weapons you can just kind of use them to level up. But I think this is the best way to well not level up the deep sight weapons. To actually finish your deep sight weapons and to be able to level up your crafting weapons. Just like that, primary weapon, needed the deep sight on it, and got it. So, yeah. Alright, now to get into the real strat, real video.
wiped out. That is what I believe is the best way to finish deep sight weapons that you haven't quite finished, and also what I believe is the best way to level up your crafted weapons in Destiny 2, the Witch Queen. Now the moment that, I don't know about all of you, but the moment that I, most definitely I have been waiting for, is the moment I can reshape Accurize, gonna put a full choke. And lo and behold. Boy, that's expensive. But there you go. Where's it at? I like to be arranging mine to put my masterworks on top, my crafted weapons, all that. But there you have it, my new PvP god roll, Dragon Hill D. And the easiest way, in my opinion, please comment if I am wrong, easiest way to level it and many other weapons that you craft up. Well, that will be it for today. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing a video on this here soon. Not only this, but this whole loadout, including Deathbringer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can use this exact loadout to help you level up and I guess prestige your weapons of your own. Alright, well, that was all for today. Bye. So there you have it, what I believe is the best way to farm levels for the new craftable weapons in Destiny 2 The Witch Queen, specifically the Ragonheld D, the new shotgun, which is amazing with the right perks in PvP. Sorry for the second little outro, I just felt like I needed to address the clips I showed you, and that's just a little taste of a video I plan to make very soon. Um, just full of nothing but the Ragonheld and probably the new Trials Scout Rifle, but I'll try to focus on the Ragonheld. That's all for today. Bye.